Energy good. Hack intercept in a few. Energy very good. Pressing control 5. Hack intercept in a few seconds. I'm gonna start my descent. This is all gonna happen pretty fast as I bank towards my right for alignment with runway 15 of the shuttle landing facility. I'm now turning on auto speed brakes, arming the gear. Auto speed speed brakes engage, gear arm as we uh, enter the hack at somewhere between 28,000 and 25,000 feet. Okay, hack tangent, doing my turn, banking towards the right. Bit offset, but that's not a problem. Rate of turn pretty good. I can see the VAB and field in sight. Doing a more steeper turn to ensure more proper alignment. Vasi lights indicate that I'm high, but all the speed speed brakes are out, so I'm pretty good. Okay, Vasi lights indicate that I'm above optimal height, but pretty good. Pulling the nose up. have landing permission turning off 2500 turning off the MFD displays for so that I could concentrate on the glide slope we don't have the call outs because I didn't indicate it in the config file but that's okay 4000 feet 3,000 feet. Two thousand pre flare next. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Nine hundred feet. Two hundred. Doing the pre flare now. One hundred. Here coming. Good alignment with the runway. Forty. One hundred feet. 30 70 feet 50 20, feet 40 feet 20 30 feet 20 feet 10, 10 ah. feet main gear touchdown nose wheel touchdown external view drag chute deployed trying to keep with the center line Drag chute is released. The shuttle endeavor continues its roll down the runway at the Kennedy Space Center landing facility. Will stop, Houston. Copy, will stop. Welcome back. Yep, and thank you. Another great landing, and this time directly from Earth orbit. This has been your Commander Rodian again, signing off. And this has been Orbiter Space Flight Simulator with the excellent shuttle packs, the shuttle fleet by David413 and others. Bye bye, see you next time.